Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi guys, we're from the Tropical Vanguard team from Kuba Islamic School, Indonesia. Hi, my name is Lubna and I'm the leader of this team. My name is Maria. My name is Raina. And my name is Muzaki. Today, we're going to explain about our project that called MIMA, the short for Microplastic Mitigation Mastery. Indonesia is currently facing a microplastic crisis with plastic pollution reaching national levels and posing serious threats to the human health and the environment. Based on various recent data, microplastics have spread widely into the air, water, food, and even the human body. According to a 2024 study published in the Environmental Science and Technology Journal, Indonesians are estimated to consume about 15 grams of microplastics per month, equivalent to the size of an ATM card. Indonesia thus ranks highest of microplastic consumption in the world. The previous research could only detect and decrease the microplastics. By this problem, we have the project named MIMA, shorts for Microplastic Mitigation Mastery. MIMA could detect and extract the microplastics in water. We use CCDTSL to de detect the microplastic and verify to extract the microplastics. Based on the last project by Fayon 2018, Deferai 2019, PKM Kace 2020, Tom Particle Typer 2020, Giovanni Gugliandolo 2024. The comparison between MIMA and other research can be shown based on the data. First, performance. MIMA is easy to understand. Second, technology. Our product is used IoT as the trend technology. Third, price. It is low price because the material is highly searchable. Fourth, commercialization. It's simple to produce and sell MIMA. Our project can detect and extract microplastic. This one is portable and has low price tools. Also, we have a support application to make it easier. To make a MIMA, we will need a board for building circuit, laser diode to light sources, photo diode to detect the light from the laser, wire to combine all tools together. And then Arduino Uno board for real-time control system with Android app. Microplastic sensor to detect the microplastic battery for energy sources, 16 times 2 LCD display for display image and visual information, perifluid to extract the microplastic, and the last is cell phone. Cell phone is to give live notification. Using an Arduino module, a microplastic sensor and its response to microplastic used in MIMA. My market detect and extract microplastic with the easiest way. The LCD will tell us whether it has much microplastic or not, while the other sensor extracting the microplastic from the water. After we make our first prototype, our planning for the next five years are, in the first 2025, we're making the first equipment to extract and detect microplastic in the water. In 2026, it's the finishing of prototype. In 2027, it's the workshop for general public around the Cuba Islamic School. In 2028 is the register for copyright. In 2029 is the store distribution. Based on the previous problem and analysis, it can be concluded that MIMA could possibly make the number of consumption market plastic in Indonesia decrease. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to support us to be one of the Ah, to be part of the microplastic agent through this project. Oh, <laughs> Part of the microplastic 